Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. In this section we're going to talk about what we call percent composition and uh, empirical formulas of compounds. So up until this point we've learned uh, some very very important core topics in uh, the last few lessons. In this section we're going to again look at chemical compounds and what comprise and make up a chemical compound and talk about calculating what the percentage is of the different elements in those compounds uh, by mass. That's what we say uh, percent composition, so percent composition by mass basically. And then we're going to learn how to do those calculations and uh, we're going to talk a great deal about empirical formulas and you'll see how that's tied together. We'll review what an empirical formula is. We'll talk about how to find out how to calculate or write down the empirical formula and be given some data. It'll be tied into percent composition also in this section. And in the next section, uh, after we get through these two topics, we'll be talking about writing our first chemical reactions. So that's sort of like what you think about when you start thinking about chemistry, chemical reactions. Well, we're building up our knowledge. Uh, so stick with me here, one step at a time. You'll understand everything before it's all over. All right, so the, the deal with this section here, percent composition. So you have, uh, you have a chemical compound, H2O, something that you understand, H2O. You know that that means that you have two atoms of hydrogen for every one atom of oxygen. You know that, right? Um, so what if I asked you, what is the percent co composition of the hydrogen that's in that, that molecule? Well, you might be tempted to say, well, it's two to one ratio, so I'm just going to use that two to one ratio to calculate a percentage. But see, when I say percent composition in chemistry, usually almost always I'm talking about what is the percent composition by mass. In other words, this water molecule, if you could put it on a balance, would have a certain mass. And the hydrogen inside of it would have a, a certain mass, and the oxygen would have a certain mass. If you add up the mass of the hydrogen and the oxygen, you're going to get the mass of the whole water molecule, right? So what's the percent? Is it 30% by mass of hydrogen? Is it 50% by mass of hydrogen? What is it? Well, you see, hydrogen and oxygen have vastly different masses. So we have to use the chemical formula in addition to the knowledge of how much these different elements have, you know, what the different masses are to find out what the percentage is of that hydrogen or whatever it is in that compound. And this is really important actually because, you know, we're doing this from the point of view of learning chemistry, but let's pretend that you discover some element, you know, and never been seen before, don't even know what the heck it is, right? One of the very first things you're going to do is put that thing in a machine in a laboratory to measure the percent masses of the different elements in it. So you'll, it'll go in there, it'll do an analysis, and you won't know what the chemical formula is, but you'll know that it's maybe 38% carbon, 42% silicon, and so on. And from that, you can go on and investigate the structure of the compound that you have. So if you're sending a probe to Venus or to Mars, that's very practically what we're doing. So Try not to look at this as this boring thing we're calculating. I mean, this is what you would do if you were going to explore another planet and go dig a rock up and figure out what, you know, what percentage it's made up of, of the elements there. The easiest way to teach this is just to do examples. So I'm not even going to go into any theory. We're just going to dive right into it. So what if we want to find the percent, uh, percent mass composition of every element in the following uh, formula here? So barium, silicon, oxide. So barium, one atom of barium, one atom of silicon, three atoms of oxygen. And what we want to know is what is the percent composition by mass, when we say percent composition, we're talking about by mass, of barium in this compound. What is the percent composition of silicon in this compound? What's the percent composition of oxygen in this compound? Now, like I said before, there's really two variables here. Obviously, there's more atoms of oxygen